Hi, I'm Jeff Landry with Landry Vineyards, and we're going to talk about frost protection today. This morning, we had an event, a frost event, 34 degrees. At 36, you're going to have frost. Typically, uh, 34, certainly, you're going to have frost. So um, everything is butted out. Almost all of our vines, with the exception of Norton and some Muscadine, are not butted out, but Blanc Dubois is. So we, we really worked hard to protect the vines from frost damage uh, this morning. Uh, the fan that you see here that, you, that you're looking at is a, a low point drain, a, a drain, a fan that drains the cold air. And the, scenario, the, the scenario here, the situation here is that the vines are up on the side of a hill and the cold air comes from the top. First of all, let me say that trees are great. They are actually frost busters. They actually increase the temperature just a little bit. Under the trees, the temperature is elevated just a couple of degrees. So we, they actually uh, take away some frost damage potential. So the cold air is coming down and this fan is pulling that cold air and then it mix aloft. Without the fan, you experience a stacking of the cold air. And of course, as it, as it reaches stacking up to the vines, then it burns that tender tissue and the flowers are right there. So, you know, the bud pushes out and sets, pushes out and sets two clusters of grapes and those potentially are burned, which is what we experienced last year at 27 degrees. When you get below freezing, uh, it's very hard to protect from frost damage. Uh, but we believe we were uh, mostly successful last night, especially with the use of this fan. And other areas of our vineyards, we rely on the natural um, flow of the land. In other words, it's a hillside and everything drains down to a bottom and then it con cold air continues to move. Um, on our property on the south side of the road, it drains down 30, a 30-foot 30 drop from the highway going down to the, the low end of our property. And so that allows that air to continue to flow. And again, if you put any barricade, any barrier between in that, that, area, that flow area of that cold air, then that stacking is going to occur. And then potentially you burn the vines. Uh, we've we've noticed a lot of different things, and we pretend, we may end up putting a fan on the south side also uh, in the coming years or so. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's the name of the game in the case of hills is uh, draining that cold air, not allowing stacking, or for, uh, laying out your vineyards in a way that that the, the air continues to drain. We look good. We really appreciate y'all support. Um, last year was a significant loss of, of uh, crop production. Both Blanc Dubois and Lenoir were largely burned up, but so far so good. We still have a potential for another frost. We're hearing that this should be the last one. Ordinarily it is. Remember that when, right when you get close to Easter, there's gonna be a, a, a bla last blast ordinarily. And we hopefully that was the last, the Easter last blast um, that we typically experience. So thank you all for your support. We really do appreciate it. Jeff Landry here with Landry Vineyards in West Monroe, Louisiana. Thank you all.